So you guys, a lot of people have hit me up on Instagram asking like tips, tricks, how to paint, where do I get this from, what materials do I usually use. So I was thinking today, let's just do a tutorial on how to customize Air Force Ones. Because Air Force Ones are like the best shoe to do customs on. So I'm gonna show you where I get the brushes from, the acetone from, the cotton balls from, the paint from. Also, if you're new and this is your first time seeing this fix, then make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. Let's go. Okay, you guys, so the first place we're gonna go to is the Arts and Crafts store. I wish we had a Michaels here, but we don't. We got like a Hobby Lobby. I don't know if you know what that is, but with all that being said, let's go. Okay, you guys, so we in Hobby Lobby. Now it's time to go get the paint brushes and the matte finisher. Let's go. These brushes are really good for detailing, especially what we're gonna try to do today. Okay, you guys, so the first step is taking the laces out and prepping the shoe. So we gotta wipe down the shoe with acetone just to get the factory finish. You will not realize that it is factory finish on the shoe. So you wanna take that off because after you paint the shoe, the paint will actually stick to the shoe and it will not crack. So let's go. Okay, you guys, so after you prep, now it's time to paint. This is the fun part, but when you paint, you need to take your time, and you need to know what you're doing before you paint. So you should already have the idea or the custom in mind because you don't want to start painting, and then you will mess it up. So the colors I'm using today is Angelus Black and then the Angelus Purple. You can find both of these at angelusdirect.com or you can go on Amazon if you need it really faster. That's what I usually do, I'm impatient. I usually go to Amazon and get the paint because I need it tomorrow, the next day. But when y'all painting, just wanna take your time. You wanna do really light coats and you wanna let them dry in between. You can use a heat gun, your mom's hair dryer, speed up the uh, drying process. So with all that being said, let's get back to the video. time to figure out like what design what pattern we're gonna do to the shoes so this is what I usually do and this is like a helpful tip and trick that you can do when you're trying to find like a pattern to do for your shoes so I'm thinking like some doodles we could put on like both the sides not the toe box because I think if you do it on the toe box then you're doing a little too much 
So we just type into Google, doodle patterns, doodle art. You see, I already got it up here. We can do doodle patterns. And these are just little patterns that you can do on a shoe, you know? That, like uh, this right here. You see with the stripes and then the checkerboard and then, hold on, let me actually full screen. And we're gonna do view image. Pull up an image and get Yeah, you see? See these patterns right here you can do? We can do like the stripes. Like, I mean, they got all different types of ones you can do. And I think that would be real cool to do on the side panel of your shoes. Let's find another one real quick. And because, I mean, it's like hundreds of these doodle patterns to do. They all online. And uh, you, just, you just have to do whichever which one is comfortable for you. Like, even They even got a video right here teaching you how to draw them, you know? I'm thinking for the shoe, let's not just do a simple pattern. Let's just do some random like clouds, triangles, different type of doodles, like on the side panels of the shoe. So yeah, this is a helpful tip and trick. If you just go on Google and type in doodle patterns and just find something that you're comfortable doing. So let's get back to the video. step is the finisher so the finisher I usually use is the matte finish spray so all you have to do is spray a couple coats on there then it's fine or you can do the matte Angelus like the liquid from Angelus direct and you do you take your brush and you just go over the shoe like two coats two light coats and then you all set to go Hopefully enjoyed today's tutorial. I want to keep the shoe design really simple by picking two colors and then like a pattern to do. I know the pattern was really random, it's just random doodles, but I think it looks cool on the shoe. Okay, you guys, so now it's time for a QA. I was thinking about doing a QA last video, but I think today is just perfect. Why not do a QA so y'all get to know me a little better? So you guys, now it's time to do a quick QA. I feel like you know me, but you don't know me. And I know you, but I don't know you. If you know what I mean. What are you talking about, man? I don't think that made any sense. But we're going to continue to the Q&A. So, what paint do you use? The paint I do use is Andrew's Leather Paint. You see it all the time in my videos. When I do the little B-roll, Andrew's Leather Paint. You can get it from Amazon and you can get it from AndrewsDirect.com. First question. Done. What made you start customizing shoes? So, I used to watch YouTube all the time when I was little. I used to watch David Got Kicks, Sneakerhead in the Bay, Sophie Soaps. And I used to watch uh, Retro Sneakers. I used to watch all of them. And they just really inspired me to do um, shoes. So David Got Kicks, Sneaker in the Bay, Sophie Soaps, Retro Sneakers, if you watching it, shout out to you, because you inspired me. Do you have a TikTok? I do have a TikTok. And I posted like one little video on there. I plan to post a little more on there. So if you want to follow me, it'll be right here. All right. Um, How old are you? I am 24. What is your favorite pair of shoes? My favorite pair of shoes of all time has to be Jordan 1s, high. Not the mitts, the high. You got the UNCs, you got the off-whites, you got the Travis Skies, you got the Shadows, the Royals, the Breads, all of those. Man, I love me some Jordan 1s, man. What is your favorite sports team, basketball slash football team? Favorite basketball team has to be the Miami Heat. My favorite player has to be LeBron James. Football, has to be the Pittsburgh Steelers. We had an all right season this year, but I feel like we'll be better next year. Um, move on from that. Uh, did you go to college? I did go to college. I went to Virginia State University. Shout out to my Virginia State University people, even if you're watching it, even if you're not watching it. Go Trojans. Um, what is your fav, no, who is your favorite YouTuber? So favorite YouTuber, all time, all time. This is hard. A few moments later. Favorite YouTuber has to be, um, I like Pretty Boy Fredo. I like Mr. Beast. 
And I like Daquan. You know how to do Fortnite. So Mr. Beast, Pretty Boy Fredo. It gotta be Pretty Boy Fredo first. Hopefully I meet him one day. No cap. Um, when is your next giveaway? The next giveaway. Next giveaway, I'm announcing it right now. Next giveaway is a fresh pair of all whites in your size and a design by me. So I'll let you pick the design. It could be bait, off-white, anything you wanna do, you want me to do on your shoes, you can do it. The winner, I'm gonna pick up their size and this shoe. All right, even with the old craziness going on right now. So the rules for the giveaway is you subscribe to the channel, turn post notifications on, follow me on IG, and make sure you comment down your favorite pair of shoes of all time. And then you put done, and then you put your Instagram handle below. So I know you did all the steps, you know? Cause you already know my favorite pair of shoes. God, it's Jordan 1's, I told y'all this, man. On a serious note, I want all my subscribers and everybody just to stay safe out there. Make sure you're washing your hands. This your boy, Xavier Kicks. Make sure you drop some suggestions down below because I'm gonna be uploading like crazy now. Why? Because we have all the time in the world. Why not? Um, this your boy, Xavier Kicks. We sound on a good one. Peace. Try to catch it.